Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Multiplying radicals. All right, let's do, because uh, we know that, uh, let's do some simple ones first. Five times five, root five, root five. We multiply these two, gives us uh, 25. Then we factor it, 5 times 5, 25. So the answer, in fact, is 5. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, 3, root of 3 times the root of 12 gives us root 36. We're going to factor that. We get a 3 and a 12 and a 3 and a 4 and a 3 and a 2 and a 2. So we've got um, a 3 outside the radical. We have a, a pair of 3s. We have a pair of 2s. So um, 3 times 2 equals 6. So that's what, um, that's what this equals. This one equals 5. Do one more. Um, root 8 times root 10. I'll factor it out. Uh, 2 times 4 equal, and then 2 times 4, so we get a pair. 2 to square root of 2 times, and we do the 10 over here. Oh, beg your pardon. We first multiply those two. Pay attention. Uh, radical or root 8 times the root 10 gives us 80. Right. Okay, so uh, starting where I was over here, we have 8, and then we have 10. 8 times 10. Or we have 2 times 40. Doesn't matter really. Uh, we'll just go ahead and 2 times 4, 2 times 2, and then this is 2 and 5. So we've got um, a pair of 2s here, a pair of 2s here, so that's 2 and 2, and then I have 5, Ra radical 5, or root 5, so it's 4, root 5. So this equals 4 root 5. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I guess the uh, overriding overriding message here for me and for everyone, uh, especially me, a attention. Yep. I could have figured it out from the 2 square root 2 and uh, found another pair of 2s in the square root of, 10, of 80, but um, follow the format, multiply the radicals by each other to get the, uh, <clears throat> to get the sum, rather the, uh, the, the value, and then factor. Let's take a look at what uh, Wolfram Alpha does with the same and produces the same results. And thanks for watching.